What makes the duct tape so special in my mind is just the creative aspect behind it. It's cool. It's, I mean, yeah, there's the longboard contest and that's where it all came from, but it's really cool how Vans just brings in all these creative people to just kind of have a good time together. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, we got my truck. We got my truck. I love lobster. Lobster is like my favorite meal and favorite crustacean. So I had to make a claw tail. I was actually in New England the week before that. I saw a lobster claw and just thought it looked like a surfboard tail. And I figured I'd try to make my best interpretation of that. We shaped two surfboards for the duct tape festival in New York. Alex Lopez helped me shape at his place in San Clemente. It was awesome. You're pretty um, much just like, getting rid of them. You're pretty much just smoothing this out. The first board I shaped was a 7.7 mid length and kind of has more of a gun shape, pulled in tail and pulled in nose. And the log is a 9.5, kind of a piggy shape. So hopefully it nose rides well and turns super good. It was my first time ever uh, trying to shape a board and uh, I got some help from my friend Max Dexter. The first one I shaped is a 611 egg shaped like a single fin. For the second one, I kind of tried to be a little bit, I don't know, make something that I would be more into. So it's like a 5.5, pretty thick, pretty wide, kind of square rails and the back of it has a, it has a wing and then it has a, a bat tail on it, so I don't know, it's kind of kind of funny. These little events have kind of reminded guys like to appreciate their actual shaper, because you don't realize the amount of work that goes into it until you do it yourself, and you make all the mistakes, and you know you can't take them out. So if it, it's, a, it's an education and an appreciation participating in those. Even if you're not a surfer, at the end of it, you have respect for shapers, so. Well, I literally just took a boogie board and just took, did the same exact outline as like an old crabby boogie board and just stretched out five up. So it's pretty much just a fiberglass boogie board. Yesterday, the waves were pretty good, so I really only had like the opportunity to go down the line. Because like it's, so, it's the tail is so wide, it kind of just gets stuck flat. So when you're going down the line, it works pretty well. So I'm going to go try to do some turns and see how it goes. such a weird shape that I like, I don't really know how to compare it to anything. Oh, that was... We need better waves. I mean, it goes really fast. Couldn't go left at all.
They both turn Surprise. really well, which I was surprised about. Like on the tail, they have like a nice like flow to them. And I didn't think I was going to be able to nose ride the, the longboard because it has such a pointy nose, but I kind of figured it out this time. I made two boards for the Duct Tape Festival in New York. I'm a go-to longboard I ride all the time, 9-4. Pretty thin in the rails, two and three quarters in the middle. Wave, waves here are somewhat kind of similar to the beach breaks in Orange County, so I didn't want to change too much up for that. I ended up riding the contest, which was which was cool. I didn't win, but I had a good time on it. I haven't had a chance to ride it yet, but I'm yeah. just gonna try to ride it after you. All right. It's my first time kind of shaping a board, so let me know how it goes. Thanks, man. That board was a blast, but uh, it worked great in the small stuff once I got used to it. It's a second opportunity. I'm happy to be on this side of it. I never wanted to be that dude that was sort of like, I got one more round, Mike, give me one more chance. You have to know when to step back and when to take the back seat and sort of provide for the next batch. Yeah, cool to get to see the best surfers, longboarders in the world, surf the same stuff that we surf on a daily basis. I surf yesterday. <laughs> hand boards on the beach, music, festivities, something that I think our the community at Rockaway and just the whole Mid-Atlantic has just been dying for. So big thanks to Vans for bringing some fun. It brings like a bigger group of people together, a bigger audience, more fun. I do love this board. Alex makes great bonders. And yeah, this to go so I'm born and raised in the Rockaways and this festival's never been here before and to see the Vans Duct Tape Invitational is is awesome. We made the trek two and a half hours to come here and uh, you know, no regrets, it's been a blast. We had no idea it would turn into what it turned into. Our main goal was to build a platform and to have it viewed in the right way. It's definitely going in that direction. If, if the governing body of SURF is having to pay attention to our tiny little event and, and accommodate their whole world tour to it, is, is we win. 